Uh, it's so slippery. Oh. I'm gonna jinx myself here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, that's all right. Yeah, pops. Have a good one. <laughs> Sick. So good. So good. So this is big stupid. That's like the signature feature on the trail. Looks pretty cool. Can be a little sketch in the wet for sure. Oh, it's actually running so good right now. Wow! So good. This is great. This is another really janky bet. You guys nice and loose on your bike. And just relax, relax. Really slippery here. <laughs> Perfect. Just like that. Relax. Boom, just like that. Awesome. So fun. Uh, I think I'm going to do something similar to yesterday where I climb up here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Heck, get that dropper going, baby. <laughs> oh man, it's so much nicer out today and I'm a lot less tired, even though I just played a couple hours of hockey. But like, the weather makes such a big difference. I don't know if you guys are like me, but like if it's sunny out, I'm feeling like I can take on the world. When it's rainy and stuff out, I don't know, man. It's weird. Can I get up here? Come on, baby! Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice! We did it. So good. Oh my god. So, I'm not. Nope. Nope, not climbing up there. We're pushing, baby. <laughs> I'll speak it. So now, you can hear me speak in a chipmunk voice. <laughs> yeah, baby. Boom! I should go back in a harder gear here. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna shoot for in between the trees there and hope for the best. Let's go. Sick. That is the right way. Okay, so this from here on out is just like <laughs> ultra jank. This is gonna teach you to be pretty loose. Hello. Just me. Thank you so much. Right. Have a great day. Uh, yeah, so without it being steep, this is gonna be pretty janky stuff. So, whatever this trail is, man, I gotta get the name of it. Great testing ground for getting loose on your bicycle. Well, they say loose is fast, baby. Days of Thunder. Love that movie. Okay, so yeah, super jank. So you just want to loosen the arms up, stay really neutral on your bike. And nice and relaxed. Not dead man still or stiff, but also not like 90 degree knees, 90 degree elbows. You want to be nice and relaxed. Thank you so much, just me. Have a great day. Definitely common hiking trail, so you got to be courteous. Especially during the day, you don't want to be hauling too much ash through here. Ah, so sweaty. See that one's getting loosen up. It gets janky as we go down. Loosen up. You don't want to be really easy on the brakes because you don't want to jam your wheel. But a lot of newer riders get into that habit. They get scared. They pull the brake. They jam their wheel. So we want to stay nice and relaxed, nice and neutral. Let the bike flow underneath of us. 
just like so. It looks rough, but if you keep it composed, it's honestly not that bad. And this is on a hardtail. Awesome. There's a couple more hikers up here. Ah, so good. Just one rider. Thank you so much. Yep. Just me. Hey Pops, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you, just me. Thank you so much. Have a good day. A nice more jank here. Just relax. Come around. Predict your turns too. You want to look ahead. Don't look directly in front of you. So if you got a say this right turn coming up, look ahead. Look farther down the trail. That will rotate your shoulders, which will rotate your hips, which makes everything nice and fluid. If you're looking two feet in front of you, you're going to be doing a ton of micromanaging. And that's when you get into trouble. So just look ahead, look in front. Perfect. So you can take some of the jankier trails and relax. And then this stuff doesn't seem like big stuff. This just seems like part of the trail. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Come up on the end. I'm so sweaty. Oh, just too good. Too good, baby. Oh, I love it. So good. So hopefully that kind of helps out some of you guys and girls. Um, honestly, man, like the, the biggest thing when it comes to progression on a mountain bike in general is A, confidence but it's not just confidence it's it's being relaxed you know you can be confident or conf confident and very tense and it still have give you issues the biggest thing is just relax if you can relax you're gonna do okay how's it going good, yeah. awesome it's perfect out today for life. yeah you have a good one <sighs> Uh, so yeah, what I was going to say is uh, relax. So how do I try to explain this to people? I say you might as well, if you're going to commit to trying something, anything, you might as well just relax and let fate take its hand in terms of if you're going to crash, you're going to crash. You know what I mean? Like if it's a lack of skill or something like that, if you're going to crash, you're going to crash. I promise you by you being tense or stiff armed or anything like that all it's gonna do is up the chances of you eating shit i kind of bring it back to when i was a, a kid even a teen uh i used to be terrified of flying like on like you know passenger ships i used to be terrified i used to think my willpower was the only thing keeping the plane in the sky. And it was horrible, I hated it. And eventually, maybe I saw a motivational talk or something like that, I don't know. But basically, as soon as I just came to accept that, you know, what happens, happens. Say, plane crashes. I'm not gonna change that outcome. No matter how tense I'm gonna be, all I'm gonna do is make the ride way worse for myself. So, it's not the same, but it's kind of the same. If you can apply, if you can apply that same kind of thinking to your riding, riding, you're gonna go pretty far. Anyways, let's go up and hit another lap. Maybe. Floppy bunny, it is. Oh, love floppy bunny. It's just so short, and the second half kind of sucks. Oh, see, now I've gotten crap all over the lens. Because I'm all sweaty. All right. Floppy bunny. Let's go. Ah. So good. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Got this. Set. Around. So good. Yes. Go to the rollers. Set. A little roller. Weird skinny thingy. Wow. So good. Yeah, baby. Thanks. Just me. So fun. That's all right. <laughs>